So you wanna start a marketing funnel business and you wanna start selling marketing funnel services or funnel services to your customers. In this video, I wanna talk about starting a marketing funnel business from scratch. The one thing that you absolutely fundamentally must do if you wanna start right and be successful and what I would do if I had to start a marketing funnel business from scratch and start my marketing funnel business from the beginning. I've actually got some free training down below on how to build marketing funnels that customers want to buy. Hey guys, Mike here from Sell Your Service. If you're a funnel builder, you should subscribe because I produce new videos every single week teaching funnel builders like you how to sell, attract and close more marketing funnel uh, customers and clients. So how do you find customers? What's like the number one step or the plan towards finding customers? That's the most common question that I'm asked. What should you be focusing on as a marketing funnel business? If you're starting a marketing funnel business, business? Where should you be putting your energy? What do you need to do first? What do you need to do in order? And what do you need to do to start a marketing funnel business? It can seem very confusing. It can seem very daunting when you begin with. And I'm going to basically lay out the plan that you should follow if you want to start a marketing funnel business correctly. A lot of funnel businesses and marketing businesses start with what I would call brand related activities. This is stuff like your logo, your font, your website, the design of your business the brand guidelines, your kind of your business name, your color schemes, all of that kind of stuff. And the reality is none of that matters. That is a massive, massive waste of time when starting your marketing business. I know that's going to upset a lot of people, but just trust me, I've seen a lot of businesses start up and a lot of them spend money, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars on the brand related side of their business and they never get anywhere. Everything is an expense until it isn't. If you spend a load of money on branding, that's not gonna get you any closer to getting your business off the ground. You could have the world's best looking business, but if it's not attracting and closing customers and if it doesn't get attention in the marketplace, it doesn't matter. So until you've done this first step, don't worry about any of the logo, don't even worry about the name of your business. Focus on these steps first and then go back to your brand related activities. Branding is a bit like fuel. It can only work when it's already put on, on fire. If you just poured a load of gasoline onto a damp, wet pile of logs, it's not gonna ignite by itself. You have to have something there already. You have to have a little bit of spark and, a, and some fire already for you to be able to put fuel on. Branding's great fuel, but it's not what starts a business. So the first thing you need to do is to decide the hyper-specific part of the process that you're gonna go to market with. If we take the entire marketing funnel process from audience research, right, looking at people who you know don't know that you exist or don't know that your customer exists, right over here at the start of the process and go all the way over to a happy, repeat, profitable customer that refers you to their friends, that whole process has got loads of different conversions in it. You've got cold traffic, you've got discovery, you've got warm traffic, you've got uh, a low value subscriber like a social media follower or subscriber, then you've got email subscriber, then you've got a lead, you've got prospect, you've got initial sale, first time customer, multiple customer, customer that refers you, evangelical customer. You've got loads of conversions. You have to choose the one conversion that you absolutely love to improve for your customers. What conversion do you like to learn more about? about. For me, it was in generating those initial sales, those initial sales to Splinter products and Splinter customers. I absolutely loved that. I loved the idea of taking someone who was a lead and just generating even like $19 from them or $9 or $1 from them all the way up to sometimes our Splinter customers would be tens of thousands of dollars. But that initial conversion, that's what I like to do. And the way that I knew that I liked to do that is because that's what I liked to learn more about. What stage of that marketing funnel process, what of all of those conversions available to you, what of those do you get energized by? Do you think about? Do you enjoy seeing? Just because you like to improve it doesn't mean that it's not easy or that you shouldn't focus on it. Look at the one stage in that process that you think, yeah, I love to learn more about that. I'm always learning more about it. I like to read more about it. I like to do more and I love delivering that to customers. That's a good place to start. And think a little bit outside the box as well because conversion doesn't necessarily mean, you know, the, the easy stuff like, discovery to cold traffic, cold traffic to warm traffic, warm traffic to you know email lead or subscriber or social media subscriber. Think about stages like 
refunds. You know, people who have asked for a refund. Do you want to work on the refund stage? Think about customers who are have got long life cycles, long buying cycles. You know, they take ages to make a sale. Think about customers who buy high ticket items or people who buy multiple consumption products. Think about all those different parts of the process and the stages of the process that you think, yeah, I really want to work in that area. I love the idea of working in, you know, new SaaS businesses who have a subscription-based business and they want to attract more customers. By focusing on that area, that's how you create a marketing funnel business that works. A lot of people try to offer everything to everyone and it just doesn't work. So instead, you need to become hyper-specific about the part of the process and the conversion that you want to work on and that you want to deliver to customers. Another good way of knowing what the right stage is, is what do you find yourself talking to your kind of colleagues and friends and customers and associates and people in your office your co-working space and you know people in your network what do you end up talking to them about i often find that the guys in my group the sell your service private mastermind which you can go, come ahead and join if you want to it's sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash facebook you can find us on facebook we find that some guys love talking about seo and chances are if they're talking a lot about seo then that stage of the process is where they should be really placing their efforts and talking to customers what you should be doing is focusing on that one part of the journey and the next part is kind of looking at your niche and the benefits, but until you've figured out the singular part of the process that you want to work on, that is the most important part. Going out to the market and choosing your niche is probably the next most important piece, and a lot of people skip that as well. People love to go to the branding stage and the design stage, but what you should be looking at is the specific part of your business and the specific part of the process and the marketing funnel process that you love to deliver to your customers. What do you love to learn more about? What do you love to deliver to customers? Because it's easy enough for us to think of a niche that suits that and the benefits, but until you've decided that you really want to hyper specifically focus on you know email marketing for customers who want a refund or you love the idea of generating first time sales and yeah there's not many stages you know there's only eight or nine stages really for you to work on it could be that you really want to work on turning customers who have been with a, a you know a product or a business for a long time and turning them into evangelists or affiliates it could be like you love the idea of increasing the consumption rate of long time customers it could be that you love the idea of doubling people's cold traffic or increasing their discoverability whatever it is that's where you need to focus on and then you can start looking at your niche and then you can start determining benefits and going to market but start talking about one part of the process that you love to work on and then every Everything else will come from that. Start with what you love to deliver and be specific. So what part of the process do you love to deliver? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you love to learn more about. Let me know in the comments below. Like I said, I've actually got some free training down below on how to get how to build marketing funnels that your customers want to buy. If you want to go ahead and hit the like button, that would really help me out. Go ahead and subscribe as well. That's a massive boon for me and it really helps me the channel out. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Keep building those funnels. So I've probably got a couple of videos here uh, either side for you to watch and go ahead and click on because I know that, you know, sensible funnel builders like you, you like to watch the next piece of the content, the next piece of the journey. I've probably got a video here on how to choose the right niche for your business and a video below on how to turn features into benefits. So those next two stages of the process that I talked about, you can find them here.